Hello from Chinechu.com, this is Mark Zhou Si. Today I would like to uh, explain a few uh, unique concept of Chinese sword fighting skills to you. So let me take my sword. Okay, this is the uh, Jade Lion sword, it's sharpened, very nice. Okay, now uh, let me explain a few things. With the Chinese sword, Okay, because the sword is a very thin and narrow edge weapon, but it's very sharp on both ends, both edge here. Okay, so basically, many people are um, using the sword in uh, the the Western way, like this. They hold it with both hands first, okay, just to get a this very powerful grip, and then they go, oh, and then basically. People just follow the same rule to do an X, an X, or then they go down and chop like that. Okay, if you give them a stick or a uh, short staff, they will do the same thing. Okay, so what makes it a, a different between the stick or the sword, right? In Chinese sword fight. We don't use the sword like a, a stick or a, a bat or something like that. So we never go and go hi like that. Okay. If you um, watch too much the uh, Japanese sword uh, test cut, you realize that when people start to cut too much uh, target, like the tatami rolls and uh, cardboard rolls and stuff like that, they tend to go all out in a strike, like. Oh, like this. Oh, do you, hoi, and I go whoosh, chop all the way down. Okay, right. That strike is powerful. But then the problem is, okay, since the strike is powerful, you're using all your force in in one strike in that demonstration. But that's not how it works in the real fight. Okay, the sword is a very agile and fast moving weapon. Okay. When you are dealing with uh, uh, the opponent and your sword is pointing toward the opponent, okay, you basically watch and see where your sword is going to end up. And it's a, always a very fast, uh, move, sneaky movement. Okay, now I'm facing you and you're my, my opponent, okay? So you want to come near me. And now what my sword does is also to find where in this picture, which is you, okay, that I can attack. So while I find my uh, spot to attack, okay, I can move up, okay, I can loop all the way around and cut cut your wrist, or I can actually move and do the other way with the reverse edge, okay, or I can basically go down and go up again, like this, okay, two attack with a sword, you don't need much effort to harm someone. Cutting a uh, slashing or cutting a human being is different from a tatami roll. But the human being can be cut very easily. If you just tap the sword blade onto somebody's arm, it's going to hurt already. It's going to bleed. So it's not really that hard to harm someone with a, a real sword. But then, if you look at uh, those test cut and all those stuff, they go all out in a strike and expect to cut the person in half. That's not right. In sword fight, okay, we aim for stabbing, finding the right spot to attack, and also to use the sword in a speedy way, not as in like doing the movements very fast, but in the manner of like you want to move to a good spot and attack, and then you can also. Uh, move around and find a spot again without having to retrieve and smash like that. That's a long way, okay? It's slow. So by uh, knowing this, now you know that Chinese sword don't fight like the Japanese sword and we don't fight like the European sword style. So uh, if you got questions about Chinese swords and stuff like that, feel free to leave a comment and maybe next time I'll answer you on my YouTube channel's video. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and like, bye bye!